lot of big decisions made this week about the reopening of schools. School districts are revealing their plans for fall, letting mm -hmm. students, parents, and teachers know what to expect. We have assembled an education team to keep you up to date in the weeks and months ahead. I will be bringing you stories. So will anchors Andy Sirota and Christine Noel. Live reports from them coming up. But we begin with our Brandon Walker. Brandon, something that did not go unnoticed when all these school districts released their plans. Many superintendents viewed the TEA guidelines just as that. Guidelines, not necessarily hard and fast rules. Brandon? Right, that is the case, Dominique, and that is because some of those school districts say that those guidelines don't speak to the specific needs of their school district. That was the case here at Fort Bend ISD, and it's an argument that made its way all the way to the governor, who now agrees. And so thus, tonight, the ball is in the TEA's court to release revised plans. Local school boards need to have that flexibility. Because, said Governor Greg Abbott, what HISD does shouldn't be what Fort Bend ISD has to do or Aldine. I mean, you get it. The need for greater local say so in deciding how a school district should reopen. HISD interim superintendent Dr. Granita Lathan. School districts require stability to open without fear of financial losses and need flexibility to open school in a manner we determine is best for our community. Plans, plans, and more plans, each dished daily from a different school district and each district offering different plans depending on their different needs. But remember this. Schools must offer in school and at home learning virtually. As in the Texas Education Agency's guidelines for reopening, which allowed a three week grace period. When released July 7th, the TEA said districts that don't offer in person learning could be stiffed on the dollars the state doles for school funding. The agency walked that back this week following protest from teachers and administrators pushing for more local say so. The decisions my board in Fort Bend needs to make and that I need the recommendations I need to give them will look very different from many, many other districts in the state. Dr. Charles Dupree, superintendent of Fort Bend ISD here about a minute ago or so, guys. You may recall I mentioned something about the TEA releasing revised guidelines. They are expected any day now. We did reach out to TEA about when to expect that. We're still waiting to hear from them. We're live in Sugar Land tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you. And